you an update on the uh, latest uh, additions. So I added two more panels. Uh, those are 255 watt, watt uh, panels. So overall, I'm, I should get two kilowatt hour. In the last two days, over a period of five, five and a half hours of um, you know running it in a, in a pretty sunny day, I'm getting close to 10 kilowatt hour during the day. So I have absolutely no complaint. This is working beautifully, situated to exactly 33 degrees, which is what should be now in the winter in New England. And um, this is the back of it. Uh, two panels are connected in series. Um, and then four in parallel. Um, I didn't had to change. I didn't need to change too much. I uh, just calculated the weight and everything, and put a little bit of um, enforcement to make sure that it works. Uh, it sustained winds that were here like maybe a couple of days ago, and were about I don't know 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour. It was pretty stable, so pretty cool. Uh, and then I'll show you the changes inside in a moment. And the second update is that I actually uh, got rid of the lead acid batteries, sold it to a local uh, golf cart guy. He was happy, I was happy. And replaced it with uh, Chevy Volt batteries. So what you see here is uh, six, it's three, but each one is two. Uh, uh, Chevy Volt batteries, those are um, six out of seven. So in a Chevy Volt there are seven, and you see here um, uh, six of those. And of course, the, the, those are wired internally to 24 volts, not 48. They do come in 48 volt. Um, I make, I'll make a separate video how to do that. But of course, you can see what it involves. You get a solder and not an easy process and not a, and a pretty dangerous process, I should say. The two on the left are brand new batteries. They're producing um, roughly 3.3 kilowatt hour. I can probably get to four if um, I will be able to find an inverter that supports all the way down to 18 volt because those are 6 series and not 7 uh, with lithium ion you're going to get to um, 20, uh, 25 volt uh, at max 25.2 and then at minimum 18 volt and unfortunately inverters are not recognizing the lower voltage they stop at 20 so there's 2 volts that um, I'm missing here I uh, have an idea how to solve that. Maybe it's too ambitious. We'll see if we'll get to it. Um, involve converting uh, one battery to 3.7, 4 volt, and then putting it in the series. That's going to be a pain in the butt, but we'll see. Uh, the battery on the right, however, it's an old uh, 2012, came from a car that had, uh, uh, I don't know really, but 60 or 80,000 miles on it. Uh, and I have no issues with this battery. It doesn't crank as much. Uh, it's slightly less than 3 kilowatts compared to 3.3 or 3.5 on those. Uh, but hey, it's, 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 it's great. I have no complaints. Um, uh, I didn't install a BMS on that one. You can see the other two has a BMS. Uh, I actually started to think that BMS is really not needed. Uh, here's a proof. Uh, this battery is running for years. I didn't put a BMS and look at the delta between all the six series batteries. So you see one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, 3.63 volts and 3.62 volts. So the difference is nine millivolt, uh, the delta between them, which is not bad at all. Uh, if it, you know, close to perfect, I would say. Granted now it's charging. So you see here combination of voltage from uh, the inverter and the battery. But uh, even when the battery is not being charged, this works pretty well. The battery is balanced and balancing itself. Um, and um, between those new and, and the old, I have no issues. Uh, the old one tends to drain a little bit faster than the new ones, but the new ones are still cranking for another hour, half an hour after. And overall, I'm getting combined somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 kilowatt hour uh, charging my car. So it's one sixth of what my uh, car can take. Uh, 60 kilowatt hour, and this is about 10. Not bad at all. Um, the production um, of electricity from the solar is now at 1.21 kilowatt. And uh, that's not bad at all, considering it's uh, early in the morning. It's 10:30 uh, in the morning, not that early, I guess. 
and um, the batteries were completely dead uh, since I charged it last night and drained them completely. So right now you see the blinking thing complaining that the batteries are empty. That's okay. Uh, we'll fill it up at around noon time. They wouldn't be 100%, but at least I can start charging the car directly from the sun. And if I'll get close to two kilowatt hour uh, at noon, which, was, which is what happened yesterday, I got 1.8, 1.9. Um, I'll charge my car at about 1.3 kilowatt hour, so it's a level one uh, charger. It's 12 amp, uh, 110 volt, and then. Um, uh, I'll have leftovers from the sun that will continue filling the batteries and I'll let it run for a couple of hours after and drain them again until tomorrow. So that's basically the plan. The one more thing I changed is uh, the, uh, uh, the breaker here. Uh, since I raised the voltage on the panels to 48 volts, I'm actually getting uh, let me show you, 51 volts right now, 52 volts right now. Um, then the 48 volt breaker, I wasn't happy with it. So this is a 150 volt uh, breaker, much better. And um, run, uh, a 50 amp, so uh, should be sufficient. I'm not getting more than 35 amp from the solar panels at the best day. Maybe in the summer I'll get to 40, but this is, should be um, sufficient uh, for now uh, until the next expansion, obviously. So that's it. Very happy with those batteries. Uh, they have no you know, um, smell, no heat, no gases, nothing. They're just, you know, blocks that's sitting there. Uh, and I can, I'm going to cover it at the end with some, uh, some, some woodwork. So it will be completely, um, encapsulated, but, uh, very happy with this. And then I'll, um, I'll do the experiment with the BMS without the BMS for about a month and see if I really need a BMS. And if the batteries will stay the way they are right now with, 8 millivolt delta between the cells then I don't think I need a BMS and this is a 2012 battery so it's fairly fairly old uh, good stuff very happy um, next video I'll talk about converting a 48 volt battery to 24 uh, the method was not invented by me it was um, done by uh, uh, a guy on eBay Alan he sells those converted already and I just learned from him. Um, I do have a, a slightly different method to do it, but the idea and the credit goes only to this guy.